Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Lift 20 and welcome back to some more Black House Zombies. I know it's been a little while since I last done this, so I want to apologize for the hiatus. I just, I've been burnt out on zombies, couldn't think of any more challenges, and just kind of left it on the shelf there. But trying to bring it back overall because like, you know, everything in the zombie sphere is just happening with all the drama and whatnot. Kind of want to bring back some positivity and just overall have a good time again now with all that stuff aside i do want to talk about today's challenge today's challenge will be called dealer's choice i did get this from a discord member his name's melon i do apologize if i mispronounced that uh please correct me if i'm wrong now basically what it is is you have one perk and one perk only and it's randomized on a wheel so you have no clue what you're gonna get and I decided to take it a step further and have it be a random map as well. Just so that way we can make it extra challenging where it can be either easy like Mawa did, or hard like, I don't know, Nuketown or Dollar Rise. So that's the idea here. I'm calling it Dealer's Choice because, you know, it's kind of like spinning a wheel, slot machines, Dealer's Choice, casinos, that sort of stuff. But yeah, overall, that's the main idea of the challenge here. Uh, I might make it further on where it's like a specific gun, specific perk, specific map. Just make it a little harder in the future. But for now, I think I'm just going to stick with a random map and a random perk. Okay, so I have rambled a bit too much, so I will get started on the video and hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so I should have explained the rules to you guys already. So all we got to do now is spin the wheel and see what we get. So let's see. Please be good. Please be good. I'm hoping for Mama the Dead that allows Obviously, like get a lot of lives right there oh please don't be diarized no i don't like diarized whatsoever okay okay for the challenge i'm gonna do diarized all right so these are all the perks that are available on diarized hopefully we get something like quick revive juggernaut or who's who double tap speak and mule kick would not be that beneficial but let's hope for the best come on come on quick ride quick ride quick ride and we're gonna get ooh ooh Close, close. Yes, okay, so we still have a chance to just pretty much survive. We won't really have too much health, sadly, but we'll do pretty good overall, I think. All right, here we are on my least favorite map. I will say, though, it has a beautiful skybox. That's, like, the only redeeming thing about this map. But all we have for this challenge is just quick revive and the guns that we can find. I think the smartest thing for me to do will be trying to get quick revive as soon as possible and then start working on the slick will fire. That would probably be a really smart idea there. I will also be clear, I will not be using the bank whatsoever. That would be way too easy for a lot of these challenges I do. Just a little clarification, it's been a while since I've done this challenge. Where's this last zombie at? I do not see him. I hear him, but I do not see him. Ah, there you are. You just had to uh, walk your way over here. Alright, this should be quick revive. I don't want to jump down. I think that will kill me. You know, I remember back in the day when we played this map, you would always like kind of just make all the parts slowly move all the way over to here here i believe and it just falls down perfectly and you just have to barely try to not like fall to your death when you want to jump down there like i would try to do that but i kind of don't want to waste a quick revive just in case i fail Ooh, we're out of ammo right now i should probably be careful okay oh god Ooh, no 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 okay we're good get my calm there and there we go okay we have a little bit of protection here but we only have like two more uses of it and then i do want to save up for the pdw here we need a thousand okay uh pdw would be a pretty good gun right there allows us to just get pretty easy points right away i will say it is one of my most favorite guns as far as call of duty goes i loved it in multiplayer love it in zombies it's just very good, very good gun. Where on earth is a zombie at? All right, I'm gonna try to just kind of bring all these parts down if I can. Just a little more. There we go. All right, let's get this second part down here. There we go. And then we got one more. Where is it? I think up here, maybe. Nope, not seeing it up here. Is it around here? No. Where is it? Or was there only three on Die Rise? I think there was only three parts on Die Rise. All right, let's send off the round. And then, ah, oh, that double points would be so useful if we weren't at the end of the round here. Oh, well, I can try to get some points with the barriers here and use that for the PDW. All right, I'm going to use a grenade because I really don't want to try knifing at the moment. Okay, gotta be careful there. There we go, the PDW. Love the gun. Very good gun. Alright, let's make this trample steam. Make sure we are doing nice and well. Alright, and we got one more to go right here. And nope, I guess there was one more part. I guess I must have missed it. Oh well. What I will do, however, is start doing a bit of parkour. Okay, whew. I got... My heart is stopping whenever I have to do stuff like that. Definitely cannot make that jump. Maybe from here, but that's only if I had trample steam. I think this would lead to my death if I remember correctly, so we're not going down there. 
I'd have to remember, I used to play this a lot with my uncle, like this map specifically, because it was like the only map he had besides the uh, base game Transit. And like, I have a memory of like where almost everything is, but kind of not because it's just been so long. Now that's, that's a beautiful gun right there as well. And then let's see, where do I go? I think I can go over here. And yeah, so right there is power. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, I just realized we're about to have Nova Crawlers here soon. The jumping jacks. You know, I will be honest, I am kind of excited for Black Ops 6. I'm not trying to get too excited because I've been let down way too many times before. Especially with like most modern games nowadays. But I am excited. I've seen the leaks for the multiplayer, for the uh, like omnidirectional movement, I think it's called. And it seems pretty cool, not gonna lie. But with the zombies, we have got some information where it's like kind of like a measure of Black Ops 3 and Cold War. And I think that would be pretty cool to see like implemented inside a gameplay style. Like if they get like the best of Black Ops 3 and Cold War, oh, it would be a really good zombies game. Although sadly for Codename Pizza, he's not getting his uh, killing time gobblegum. All right, let's go turn on power because I do not want to deal with a lot of this stuff anymore. And bada boom, bada bing, we got power. Ooh, and the uh, part right here. And then let's go down here when we can. I don't want to like stay too much right here. Come on, go down, go down, go down. And now. There we go. I did not expect that to work. All right, please, please, please. And then run away. God, now I got to find all the parts. I do not remember where anything is. Think. Yeah, this part right here. And then there should be a part upstairs, I think. I can't remember. I just, uh, I know this map. I played it many times before, but I just don't remember anything on it, really. All right, I'm going to need to find out where this last part is, as well as get a new gun, which I do see an AK right here. That would be very perfect for us. And then where's this last part at? I have no clue. You know, I keep on forgetting that the voice actor for Marlton also voices uh, Robin from Teen Titans. And I just don't know why I forget that. Like, I never made a connection to like a few years ago where it's like, oh my god, they are the same voice actor. I don't even know how I never realized. Like, it's so obvious. All right, let us see if the last part is up here. I think there's only one part that really spawns up here. Nope, there it is. Okay, so we were missing it. All right, I think this round is now going to be the jumping jack, so we will have to be, like, on our A game right here. Yep, just caught it. Okay, we got to be really careful. I want to try to make my way to the... Oh, God! I want to make my way to the AK or AN-94. Oh, God, it's breaking my ankles. God, I hate these things. You know what? Slick a fire. Slick a fire. Help, help. Go, 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 go. Back away. Back away. I have a gun. Oh, I miss. I am really bad at this. Okay. God, I want to buy more perks, but I know that's, like, against our challenge here. Okay, we finally got max ammo. Let me reload, grab it, and let's see what we can do. I want to, like I said, make my way back to the AN. I think I'll have to go through the elevators for that. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make that jump right there. Maybe from the top here, but that would be way too risky. I'd rather, like, catch an elevator for that. Let's see, any elevators down right now? Nope, I almost ran straight off. You know, I just realized, I never set a challenge goal for myself for, like, what round I want to make it on, because usually I do that. Um, let's go with round 15. I think that's a pretty solid round. I will say, it's so weird playing zombies again. I've just been playing Minecraft for the past, like, couple of weeks. Uh, please don't hurt me. Okay, whew, gotta say, kind of missed it. Like, I know I was burnt out, but I did still miss, like, making the content and just playing it overall. Man, I love the fact that the Slicko Fire can work like this. Oh, God, no, no, no. Okay, whew, that could have been bad. But I do love the fact that Slicko Fire can just kind of just explode onto other enemies and just kill them as well. All right, I think we should be fine if I fall down from here. I'm just going to kind of, like, shimmy shimmy ya. Okay, whew, could have been bad. Get off my elevator, sir. I don't need you here. Ra 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 ra. All right. Uh, let's kind of clear this debris here, and let's walk around. I know we can make the jump to the other, uh, Trample Steam area over here, but I want to try to pack a punch, or, mmm, no, I want to get the AM first, and then I'll pack a punch. Alright, a little bit of parkour, nothing big, nothing big, and we're good. Whew. And this should be pretty good as well. Yep, 
There we go. And let's go buy the AN-94. There we go. Such a beautiful gun. I wish we got to see this again in uh, Cold War and more so in like Black Ops 3. I know it was a multiplayer item for Black Ops 3, but for Cold War, Black Ops 3, even BO4, I would have accepted it as well. But let's go and pack a punch. Okay, please don't hurt me because I don't like taking damage. Okay, we're good. All right, now we just gotta wait for pack a punch. No, no, no. Oh, ha, ha, ha. you son. Mm. All right, very, very close to making it there, but sadly we failed. Uh, gotta make sure I am using my slickle fire when we get up because we will be dead if we don't. <gasps> pack a punch. Nope, it's gonna go. Yep. Ooh, that could have been bad. All right, we gotta be very careful here because we're gonna die if we don't. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, we got insta kill. We're good. We're good. Woo. Hey, I got an achievement. You can tell how long I've been uh, playing this map. All right, we're gonna be going up here soon. That's very good, in my opinion. You know, I just realized we do need to rebuy quick revive. Thankfully, we should be able to do that once we uh, pack a punch, because I do want to do that first and then get quick revive, just so that way we have like a much stronger weapon than just a slick of fire. All right, let's go pack a punch real quick. Uh, we have two zombies. Gotta be careful here. Please don't hurt me. Pick up the gun and then run. All right, let's go buy that quick revive. Come on, don't miss the jump. Don't miss the jump. Whew. Okay, we're good. All right, let's finish off this round. Grab some stuff. Uh, we could probably take the quick revive back up. Try to look for that final part once we do. And try to use that to go like back and forth here. Come on, quick revive. I need to, uh, need to drink you up. Haha, there you are. Okay, grab. No, I said grab. Oh, this could be bad. We're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. All right, cool. You know, I realized this could be a lot easier if we had the uh, Juggernaut Perma Perk, but thankfully we don't have it, because to be honest, I think that would be a bit too cheatsy in my opinion. All right, come on, elevator. Gotta wait for you to go up. Gonna kind of camp inside here just to make sure we're good. Uh, Go up. Perfect. Now, let's see. Where's this final part? Because I did not see it anywhere. Although, I could be very much blind trying to, like, look for it. It's probably somewhere stupid, like, around here. And I just overlook... Yep, right around here. All right. Uh, grab it and then shoot you. Yeah, we got the part. Perfect. So, let's go and make the trample steam. Oh, and it's the jumping jack round. Perfect. Yes. Okay, that's actually good because we can use that to get a little bit of a break here. All right, should be the end of the round here soon. I think that's the last guy. I'll let him jump across. There we go. And then we want to make sure we time this properly. What's the key? One. Okay. Uh, bum. And I think right there's good. If not, we're gonna be we're gonna be seeing the ball and die rise right here. And jump. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. I'm always scared whenever I do that. I'm not gonna lie. And let's buy some claymores. I think that would be very useful as well. And we'll kind of like place it up here. I don't think they come from up there, but we're going to find out. Okay, so they do come from up there. I just heard the explosion happen. Whew. Gotta be very careful here. Having a bit more zombie spawn then. Especially gotta be careful when they come like back here. Don't want them to like kill me in one shot. Let me grab that max ammo while I'm at it, because that would be very beautiful. And let's place you down. Please have nobody behind me. Of course, you're behind me. Please don't sit at all. Whew, that could have been bad. And an insta-kill. Perfect. You know, what was I doing? What was I thinking? Because that was the stupidest play I think I could have done. And I am very disappointed in myself. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but my disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. Please, all I want to do is get to round 15 at the very least. Yes, 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 there we go. Okay, we're good. Now we should have a little bit more of a breather. That's our last quick revive. Yep, there it goes. Uh, gotta be very careful now. So kind of going back to what I was saying with Black Ops 6, I did see a little bit of, like, the gameplay trailer and watch a little bit of Codename Pizza for, like, his reaction and all his thoughts on the game mode, and I think... Okay. Let me, uh, let me just die once more again. Uh, but anyway, like I was saying, I did see his reaction and whatnot for the, uh, uh, what he personally played and just overall thoughts. And I think it's going to be a pretty solid one. It has, like, a lot of the benefits of, like, Black Ops 3, like I said. And I think that's a really good sign. A lot of people do love Black Ops 3 overall. And we're going to have more so just, I guess, that style gameplay mixed with Cold War. We have, like, the loadouts and whatnot. Uh, being able to just purchase gobble gums. Uh, set your own weapon attachments. Uh, whenever you get a gun, you have the XP given to it, even if you don't have, like, enough levels to unlock that said gun. So I think overall that's a really good idea, and they're also doing, like, a mixture of, like, 
you can find the easter eggs like normally they're gonna guide you up to a pack a punch but you have to find the easter eggs like back in black ops 3 2 1 previous call games and then they're gonna have like a guided mode uh guided mode sorry that comes out like a little bit later uh once we do complete like the main easter egg and i think that's really cool in my opinion it's like personally me it will help bring in like new players as well as like keep the old players as well like that heart and soul of called zombies Speaking of called zombies, it is really crazy what's going on with the, uh, like, the Z-House crew. Like, I'm gonna be honest, after seeing and hearing everything, it breaks my heart. I loved everyone there. I loved watching their videos during, like, Black Ops 3 life cycle. And just to see, kind of, just everything go up in flames like that, it's just heartbreaking, man. Like, I really hated seeing that. But part of the reasons why I am coming back to zombies personally myself is because I want to kind of, like, fill that void that I just had with everything going on where it's just like i remember watching uh my favorite content creators just record and play games like this and just had a good time you know they did challenges uh played on new maps had like great excitement for stuff and like i think the only like two zombie youtubers i really watch that i'll actually generally sit down and watch now will be mr uh, waffle waffles uh raffle waffles sorry waffle waffles <laughs> And, uh, Codename Pizza. Oh god, this is gonna be the end. Ooh, maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Slicko fire, come on. There we go, and then run. But yeah, just overall, it's just, it really sucks, man. I love their content, but sadly, all good things must come to an end, you know? I'm not gonna lie, I feel really rusty right now. Like, I feel like I should be doing a lot better than what I'm doing right now. But I do know it's because I haven't played zombies in, like, a couple months now. I don't even know when the last time I recorded and uploaded zombies or really actually like sit down and play zombies. And I think the last time I actually played zombies was like Cold War, so I don't think that really counts right here because Black Ops 2 is like way more difficult than the modern Call of Duty. And I think that's part of the reason why I like it. It's just the complexity and like the hardness of it, but you also get rewarded very well as well. Ooh, we are doing some juke maneuvers here. Ooh. Ooh, can't touch this. Duh. Okay, you touched me. And uh, I thought I was going to make it through that, but guess not. Um, I think overall, that was pretty good. Round 17 for just quick revive. I mean, a lot better than if we didn't have that personally. Unless we had drug, that would be a different story. But overall, I think that was a really good job on our end over here. And I got a little bit of like talking about future plans with Call of Duty and whatnot. I think overall i'm gonna try to record some videos on that see how i feel about it and continue from there now before i end off this episode i do want to say a couple of things right here uh one thing is that i'm going to try to bring back zombie content i don't know how frequent it will be i mainly need ideas which is why i'm going to ask you guys for some assistance on like what ideas like challenges or even just simple things like do an easter egg or something like that you know just try to have some ideas thrown out there because i can't really think of any i feel like i've done like a lot of repetitive ones i don't want to do that so often where it's just like oh great another two box challenge whoop de doo you know uh just some ideas that you may be able to throw out i might try some on like black ops 3 and black ops 1 world war and any call that i can find i have pretty much all of them so but just overall i just want to let you guys know i'm going to try to bring back zombie content and just i know that's why a lot of people like subscribe to my channel and just overall i wanted to like thank you guys as well just 734 subscribers last i saw just unbelievable man i know i didn't really record anything for like the previous milestones but unbelievable thank you all for that and i'm very very grateful um hopefully here soon maybe we'll make it to 800 who knows uh but yeah so if you guys still like the video please like comment subscribe and without further ado this has been lifter 20 signing out bye bye